What's up, everybody? We're ready for another round of Wordle. We're going to continue Arani's amazing 26-day Let's Go Through the NATO Phonetic Alphabet Challenge. Uh, we did amazing yesterday. Um, we got uh, force and two, <laughs> starting with foxed. Uh, we are going to do Sundays for March 31st, 2024, and um, it's golfs. Now, there's two golfs, as you guys probably know, um, but in the NATO um, alphabet, it's golf, the game that you play, not the body of water. So let's do golfs and see how it does. And oh, okay, not 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 horrible, but uh, not great either. Um, let's see. I'm tempted to try a double O. Um, then we can position it. So, for instance, um, uh, broom. I don't know, though. That's actually eh, just that the B and the M are maybe not, like, incredibly ideal. I mean, it will definitely position the O, though. Um, probably something OU, like... Proud. Yeah, actually, proud is pretty good. Let's try proud. Ah, shoot. Huh. Maybe I should have done the double O. I mean, it should go third or fourth, rather. Um, although it's funny, it could be taboo. Now we'll definitely get our O positioned, and, it, and at the very least, it'll end up being first. Um, let's try taboo. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, guys, you have to admit, wow. I was just thinking to myself, look, we still have another chance to position the O. And uh, Taboo was the first thing that came to mind. That was incredible. Maybe not quite as good as yesterday's, but I just think in terms of, um, you know, just the, the sheer luck and how quickly we got that. Nothing to complain about. Hi, Rania. I'm absolutely loving your challenge. Guys, tomorrow is going to be Hotel, okay? Hotel, it's a nice, clean entry. We don't have to change a thing. That's exactly what you say if you need to report the letter H. Um, sadly, however, hotel has been a previous Wordle answer, so there's um, no chance of getting it um, in one, okay? But those are still five great letters. So good luck tomorrow. Hope you guys did well with golfs. Um, I'd be very impressed uh, for folks that... Um, you know, also got it in three. I think I got incredibly lucky. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of a Weidel. What's up, everybody? We we did a little bit better yesterday. I think we did a little bit better. We just edged out the time limit. Um, we didn't have to use any hints, um, but we did not get the spangram first. So we actually got a very respectable nine. Um, again, we still have a day or two left to make some final suggestions on the um, scoring. I mean, the only other thing I'm thinking about is maybe... You have to say, like, you solve the thing within 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, uh, I don't know, does it, does it automatically go down to a zero? That's a little harsh. I mean, I certainly am guilty of going over 10 minutes. But I just want you guys to think about, is, like, going over five minutes and losing two points enough of a penalty for, for the time? Uh, I'll let you guys decide. Um, but I'll score today based off of the most recent scoring system that we seem to have collectively adopted. We're going to do Sunday, March 31st. Um, it's it. It's lit. It's lit is the category. This could be a whole bunch of different things. It could be when things are lit these days for my teenagers. I know that they mean that it's fire or it's awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm actually looking for something like that. Um, hmm. Oh, Firefly. Let's just go straight for Firefly. That looks reasonable. And um, again, we, we can't get um, better than a nine. Um, but that is pretty cool. And um, I see a tail here. Bulb. Um... I see lumens. 
Okay, so maybe Lumen. No, okay. Oh, Illuminate. Ah, silly me. And there's our Spangram. Uh, at least it should be our Spangram. Yep. Bam. No, it's not. Holy cow, I can't believe Illuminate's not the Spangram. That would be perfect. Oh, because it didn't go from one into the other. My bad. Uh, let's try this. Oh, man. Oh, Illumination. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, we still have a chance to get a nine. We just got to hustle here and get the rest of these. Um, star and Neon, I think makes sense. Whoops. And... Um, This almost looks like uh, an angle wouldn't make sense. No, but it's got to start. Huh. Could this end in e Elegna? I'm not sure. Siren? Nope. That's okay. Um, fire? No, wow. Um, it's not shaft. Okay. Ang <sighs> Angle? Angler? Shine. No. Shiner. Whoa. Gosh, I'm, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm about to lose out on the time here. Um, and we started, and we got this pretty fast. Darn it. Um, this has to go a ang. God darn, oh, I'm so close, but this is just killing me. Um, so it wasn't fire. Fish. Almost tempted just to get the hint. Um, Cause I know I'm, yeah, let's get a hint. So, Lantern. Oh, goodness. And I have only one more to go, and it's Anglerfish. Wow, that's a good one. Done. All right, well, I'm not sure about that one. We used a hint, so no matter what, my score at best can be a 7. And judging by the time, I'm pretty sure we went over. Ouch. So see how quickly, guys? Like, you think the score is all, you know, everyone's good at 9s and 10s. Not that I'm any standard to go by, but I think that's either that's either a seven or a five today. That's unfortunate because I felt so good with Firefly and it started to, you know, I just kind of like pounded away at them. But yeah, the right side of the Spangram definitely got me. Ah, that's too bad. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. And again, the score today, uh, I'll do this when I edit the video, but it's either going to be a five or a seven. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Starin! What's up, everybody? Uh, we got blown away yesterday. We only got half of the total points that we could um, with that crazy plural connections. Let's see what's on store for today. Let's see what's on store for today. Okay, we've got honey, spring, fall, still, brown slip, hourglass, spill, corset, uh, teddy, tap, um, diab... Diabolo, not Diablo, but Diabolo. It's a little weird. Uh, Diabolo, mineral wasp, boo boo, and trip. Hmm.
these this is all women's uh intimate wear um I don't know about intimate wear, but this is just women's undergarments. The thing is, I'm not, I have no idea what Diabolo is, but I don't think any of these make sense. So I'm actually kind of willing to take a risk on this Diabolo. Let's see if that makes sense. Then you've got, um, oh, then you've got mineral water, tap water. Spring water. Uh, let's go for that first. That should be hopefully purple. Mineral water, tap water, uh, spring water, and still water. Yeah. Is this blank water? Kinds of water. Yeah, that's funny. It, you have to be careful about that distinction between blank something or they could do kinds of something. So forget the, whatchamacallit, uh, the order here. So let's just now try to, um, uh, a boo-boo, um, a spill. You can trip, you can spill, you can fall, and you can slip. Boo-boo. Hmm. I think it's going to go something with, something with bears. I feel like something... Teddy bear, boo-boo bear, honey bear, and brown bear. There you go. So I think we can go with, oh, interesting. So that's going to sort of change my women's thing with the corset, the teddy. Huh. So you can fall, you can slip, you can, you can spill, and you can trip. Um, this would all be stumble. Take a tumble. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and now I think we can do our bears, boo-boo bear, brown bear, teddy bear, and honey bear. These are bears. And I think this is just women's, I mean, the corset, the wasp, the hourglass, and a diable. Oof. Um, I might miss this category. I think we're great on time today, at least, which is great. Um, this category, though, I mean... Huh. Blue, it's going to be hard. I mean, I first I thought we had the women's undergarment category, but all those went into other categories like the slip and the teddy. Corset Diabolo is a word I do not know. Diablo is devil, but there's an extra O there. Wasp and hourglass. I don't really want to waste too much time on this. I think we're great on time. I might have about another minute. Um... I guess I'll just stick to the original, even though I know it's not going to be right. Um, things women wear. <laughs> what a terrible guess. <laughs> yeah. Things that are cinched in the middle. Hmm. That's a tough blue. That's far harder than the uh, purple. Huh. Things that are cinched in the middle. That's a good one. That's That's a good one. I mean, I had the visual... For sure, with hourglass and corset, um, but I had no idea what a diabolo was, and I wasn't thinking of a wasp that way, unfortunately. Even though that is fair, they are sort of cinched in the middle. Let me know, guys, what on earth is a diabol diabolo, diabolo, however pronounced it. <laughs> uh, can you believe it, guys? This is the final day of the March tournament, so I hope you all ended on a good note. Um, put Make sure you get those results. And give me a few days and we will um, go through the results in, a, in about two or three days. And we will uh, declare everybody's final score, no matter what your standing was. And, of course, we will announce the top 10 
and I'm still sort of thinking about what we're going to do as far as prizes go. Um, some of you who already have like two mugs might be getting a little bit bored of them, although maybe you want to collect like a whole year's worth. But I'm kind of thinking of um, one idea I have is with the company that I use to create the mugs is maybe um, have like three or four uh, items in total that you can choose from. And then you can just, I'll give you the link and you can pick whatever item you want. Um, I think that might be pretty cool. And then, um, but then I think you guys would have to be responsible for the shipping. That ended up being a pretty huge expense. Um, yeah, that was a pretty huge expense. Not as terrible as I thought it would be. Um, if you did it through UPS, sending the mugs to our good friends, Miles and Martin in the UK would have been $300 each. I did it through the US Postal Service priority mail and it was only 70. Um, so, so, you know, like much less, but still a bit of an expense. So I'm thinking if you guys don't mind, you would get those prizes for free, um, but you would just have to um, order them um, through the website. I'll somehow make sure that like you would pay nothing for it. But yeah, you have to be responsible for the um, shipping, okay? I think it's worth it. I definitely think it's worth it. Those mugs, actually the second one, the ones for February, I think were even better than the ones for January, in my opinion, at least. I wish I ordered an extra one. Um, I wish I ordered an extra one because it was really nice. Um, but yeah, I only ordered 10 and they all went out to the 10, top 10 from last month. So there you have it, guys. Enough rambling. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, April 1st, April Fool's Day. Who knows what one is going to have in store. So see you for the next round of Connections.